Uh, good afternoon. We're excited to be here. This will uh, this is a project that Farrell started a couple years ago at, at the headquarters fire station. Uh, this will be the, the, the end of it. Uh, all of our stations after today will have a garden at them, which is pretty exciting. I think when we first started this, there was maybe some skepticism how this would turn out and what a garden would be like, but I think it's taken root. Uh, no pun intended. Very good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, has been very exciting to see the project grow and how the stations have really bought into uh, what's going on. And uh, I can say firsthand that the, uh, the vegetables and stuff that come out here are excellent to eat uh, during the day. So with that, I'll introduce uh, Mayor Cruzan. Yeah, I do also want to welcome Betsy Walsh, the uh, chair of our Board of Public Safety, who's been behind us on this. I will tell you, two years ago, uh, when Abundant Harvest Farms came and talked to me about this, I probably had a little bit of that skepticism. I kind of had two reactions. One was I could just see the rolling of eyes. Uh, you know, here's Mayor Green again. We're going to be putting in gardens at our fire department, the fire stations. And the other was the fear that when the garden you know, was set and the seeds were planted that the fire hose would probably knock them all out. But I guess we're not watering them with the fire hose and everything's worked out fine. And it has, it has really turned into something special. And uh, you know, and this, this isn't an exaggeration. I have known for a long time that our firefighters are the most professionally trained uh, people in, in, in fire service in the state of Indiana. What I did not know was that today, the planting of this garden, this city is the first in the country to have organic gardens planted at each of its fire stations. And that is, that is a significant accomplishment. And another reason Bloomington, Indiana has put on the map. Uh, but more importantly, it's really, it's, you know, firefighters are role models. Firefighters are people that kids look up to. And the fact that they are setting this example for all of us, not just kids, but all of us in the community, that this kind of sustainable farming, that food security in our community is important, and honestly, that it's just fun and it tastes good. And that's what it's all about. So thanks so much to, uh, to Abundant Harvest Farms, and I'll introduce Carol Johnson. Take it from here. Thank you, uh, Mayor uh, Mark Sanford. I'd like to first thank uh, you, the Mayor. You know, I really appreciate uh, the meeting that we had, you really embraced the idea. And then I talked to uh, Chief Kerr, and he really embraced the idea. And that was kind of what got, got the whole project started. I knew I had the support. Uh, and initially, we built the first garden. The way the firemen reacted to it, I really thought we had something. So the idea was to build them in every station. Uh, the whole idea is not only to give back to the firemen, which are our local heroes, go into burning buildings. Uh, some call it crazy. I call it courage. Uh, so it's anything that we could do as a company to help out. Uh, fried fresh organic produce and then the other idea it was to um, you know kind of excite the public and show people that you can grow organic produce in a small area um, you don't need chemical fertilizers um, with all the different pollutants we have in the environment these days um, you know I want this to be an example for future generations you know I've got a son now so I really think you know 10 or 20 years from now we want to um, leave our planet looking great and if this project can help accomplish that then I'm really excited about it um, last but not least, I'd like to thank uh, Lisa Morrison, uh, Mike Ellenwood, our VP, and my wife, Ann Hawks, and also um, all the firemen at all the stations. Firefighters. Yeah, firefighters at all the stations. And um, actually the firemen union, they, they contributed last year to help make the project success. Um, so that's been a great project, and I just appreciate all the support. And we see this getting better and better every year. This is not just a one-time thing. We're going to continue this uh, for many years to come. So thank you all. Thank you. 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 Thank you.